Veterinary Surgical Centers is a progressive small animal veterinary surgical referral practice dedicated to meeting all of your pet care needs. And here with more is Dr. Julie Wenzel. I'm so excited to have you back because we're going to be talking about acupuncture for pets. Yes. Seriously, that's a thing? Yes. Oh, well, I guess if, if it works for us, it should work for our lovely furry friends, right? Tell me more. It does. Well, it's, acupuncture has been practiced for centuries, and it's becoming more mainstream for both humans and for pets. And they do great for it. You can treat a variety of different ailments, from pain to nausea um, to chronic conditions like kidney disease, um, and just make them feel better. You know, you're not going to fix some of those underlying diseases, but you can make them feel better. So it, it helps them in the road to recovery, I guess. Right, and just improving their quality of life. Okay, so, so let's talk about the big breeds first. What what do you mostly see when, when you're dealing with dogs? What kind of things do people come in with and what, what does acupuncture help? Um, I would say the most common thing we see is uh, treatment for pain. So that might be arthritis, it might be disc disease, um, you know, post-operatively after surgeries, uh, but those are the most common things. And, and do the dogs really deal well with this? I mean, you're, you're about to stick them with, with the needles. Do, do they really handle it well? They do. Most of them are very calm uh, and do not react to the needles at all. Uh, occasionally, if they are a little sensitive or a little bit nervous, then we might use a cold laser and use that cool. to stimulate the acupuncture points and most of them will tolerate that very well. So tell me uh, how this sort of whole process works. I, I have a pet who seems to have some issues. Mm -hmm. I bring them in for a once over. How does acupuncture fit into the whole therapy scheme? I think it depends on, on the pet owner. So there are some owners who really want to try to minimize medications that their pets are on mm -hmm. and so acupuncture can be a great addition. You can also treat if, say, they have other medical conditions. You know, maybe they can't take non medications, and so you're using acupuncture just to help their pain and try to limit um, those other drugs. Or if you have them on all of these medications and it's still not giving you the relief that they need, then acupuncture is something that, that may help some of those animals. So it's good to try. There's nothing negative that can come from it really it sounds like no it's um, there's very there's very few side effects and it doesn't work for every animal um, but it can really benefit a lot of them is acupuncture something that every vet can do no so acupuncture um, is only practiced by licensed veterinarians so we all go through your traditional veterinary school mm -hmm. we're all licensed um, but acupuncturists have chosen to do additional training so usually um, there's a couple of different courses through the, the United States that you can do and become certified. So why is it something that you do? Why did, why did you augment your medical professional degree with, with this? Well I was a, an emergency clinician for many years and you know I, we saw a lot of pets but you know we had all of these animals that were on medications and some right. of them couldn't tolerate them and so it just was something that I thought what else can we do to help these animals have a better quality of life not just live until they're 15 um, but live until they're 15 to be more comfortable. Great. So. so when a pet owner thinks this is something that I want to bring into the whole treatment of my pet, what kind of questions should they ask? What should they be looking for? Well you can ask your, you know we're more of a referral based at uh, you know veterinary surgical mm -hmm. services but you can talk to your vet and see some vets will practice acupuncture out of their clinics but look at what their philosophies are some people practice just from a very western medical standpoint others like myself are integrative so we use you know your traditional medications that you might you know get with your veterinarian and incorporate acupuncture into that um, and then there are other veterinarians that practice um, more of a homeopathic approach and so I think it's kind of what your your preferences are when you're looking for uh, for a clinician. So uh Tell me where we can actually find the acupuncture that you're offering. Where are you located and where are your offices? I'm with Veterinary Surgical Services in Leesburg. Mm -hmm. um, and at this point uh, of the Veterinary Surgical Service uh, rehab practices, we're the only one that has acupuncture for the moment. Great. So. And you work with all breeds, all kinds of pets, right? I'll do anything. You'll I'll try. I'll try anything. Okay. So. Next time you come back, I want to talk <coughs> about cat acupuncture. Okay. We can do that. <laughs> Thanks so much, Dr. Julie. You're welcome. More Let's Talk Lives coming up. Stick with us right here.